Hello and welcome to this video demonstration of SOLIDWORKS 2010. In this demonstration I want to show you some options for creating section views in drawings. Here we have just a simple revolved part model that we'd like to create some drawing views of and uh, take a look at some of the different options for creating section views. Now I've already got a drawing sheet laid out with a front view of my model and we simply want to create a section view with a vertical section line and this is probably one of the simplest types of section views that you can create from my command manager I'll just choose the section view icon when I choose that icon notice how my cursor changes to the pencil icon it places me in line draw mode so I'm now ready to draw uh, a line or multiple lines to represent my section line and I'm just gonna hover over the circular edge of the part and inference the, the uh, center line of the model I'll draw a vertical line making sure that my line extends sufficiently uh, above and, and uh, below the part. Once I'm done clicking my line, SOLIDWORKS then peels the section view for me and I get a property manager that lets me specify the direction, the view label, the font, and a number of different options. So let's place that section view and check OK and here you can see our section view has been placed it's a dependent view so you'll notice that I can drag it side to side but I can't break the alignment by default however there is a command to do that through the right click menus let's take a look at the crosshatching by default SOLIDWORKS inherits the crosshatch properties for whatever material is assigned to the model however if you click on the hatching you'll get a property manager that would let you override that material crosshatch for example if you wanted to change to a different material type change the scaling, the angle, or even go to a solid fill or no fill at all. A couple other options on our section view. If we click on the section view, you'll see again in the property manager, I can change the label, the font, I can specify a partial section, I can specify to display only the cut face, which is helpful if, there's, if the geometry behind the section view is rather busy. So that's the simple way of creating section views, simply using the command manager section view command.